This is eaten by that. Welcome back. My M4 sounds poor. And today we will improve the sound quality. We will install a valve control for the exhaust. It's from Leib. And additionally, we have the inventory intake, which in my preference is the best intake you can get. It's a nice quality. I will show you one thing where you can see that's the best quality you can have. That baby here. It comes in every inventory box. It's a checklist which shows you that every single part is inside the box. Manufacturers from all over the world do the fucking same. There's no calling afterwards. Oh, I'm missing that piece and that piece and no yelling about that. I packed it, I'm totally sure at this thing. It will help, period. And if you do that, you're totally good. Why did we choose the Aventuri? For me, it's the best part you can get when it comes to an intake system. Of course, there are cheaper solutions in the market, but it's a performance car and I always go with the best vendor. And for me, it's Aventuri. Of course, there are some noises around. Mm, it doesn't increase the horsepower or it doesn't give any torque but it is the best space when you want to tune your car and it will give the perfect flow. And right now it's 36 degrees something. Your car needs air, fresh air, and the Aventuri deserves to get into that car. Thank you Aventuri that you sponsored the kit. Thank you so much. I will show you the installation, but not step by step, just some beauty shots. And additionally, we got that valve control for our exhaust. It's the cheapest solution you can get for around 500 bucks. And you would be able to turn off OPF. We will not do that because it's street illegal. Everything is illegal in Germany. So we cannot get rid of the OPF. That's why we start with the valve control. Let's see if there is a chance to improve the sound quality just with that part. If not, of course, we will change the muffler too, but maybe it's the budget solution and we will show you if it works or not. Peace out. When my guys really work hard, the only thing I can do, because I've got left hands, is to get the tires black again. Always, always have black tires. Don't forget that. It's important. Don't come with your brown, green, shitty ass tires. It needs to be black as fuck. Look how it shines now. Michelin, I need new tires for the rear. <laughs> Hook me up. Thank you. See the money, ay. Now I'm popping, oh, they looking at me funny, ay. I was in the rain, waiting for these sunny days. Made it through, you can tell me I don't love this, ay. I'm on way to that show, for the pipe down, I don't need no hoes. I've been out with my bros, even back then I knew I'd grow. Now I'm knocking down these doors, they ain't keeping up when I switch these flows. Looks sexy, doesn't it? One thing more, we need to replace the damping control units, which deletes the error message for our KW suspension, so there's no space anymore. So we need to find another spot. For the left side, we already got it. And what I forgot, what you didn't see yet, we installed these inlets, these carbon inlets, which gives the front a much more massive look. We are still running the stock grill, but I think we will have a solution for that. And one question to you guys. This part, this black part, as we want to get rid of all gloss, high gloss black parts, so this might be a solution when we swap it to a carbon part. Or when you look at the whole front, doesn't it make any sense that we paint it in body color? Because when I asked a friend of mine last time, if he would do it or not, he said, 
mm, I don't really know, then that car might look too aggressive. And then I said, okay, let's do it. But I'm not sure. So you can decide and you can help me. Would you paint that or not? I think just one valve was open, so now two valves are open, and I think it's a perfect solution now. I'll show you. This is how your G80 should sound. So we configured the valve control system that on M2 it's completely open and in M1 it's slightly open. So I think it's just one side which opens the valves then but M2 opens the valves completely and it's a huge difference. The inventory sounds nice as well, but it needs some time. It needs pressure. If you don't give enough pressure, you will not hear the inventory, so it's very difficult to get it on tape, but I think we can do it when we send Niklas outside. <laughs> So the car is much more masculine right now. It's a huge difference. And I think for 500 bucks you cannot get a better exhaust solution. Sure thing. Ah, you hear the brakes? Maybe you heard it. Yeah, I think for 500 bucks you cannot get a better exhaust solution. Of course it gets much louder. Of course you can get rid of your OPF, but it's not street legal. It's not street legal in Germany, I don't know how it is in your country. But when you cut off the OPF, of course, it's quite a perfect sound. In combination with the valve control system, I think you're good with around 1000 bucks or something. So this might be the loudest and the cheapest solution, but we don't go as loud as we can because we are not 21 anymore. And I think I had one poster in my, in my office, uh, it wasn't mine, but it said the loudest one in the room is the weakest one in the room. And I think it's quite true and I don't want to be the loudest guy around. So I don't want people staring at me because I'm so loud, my exhaust is so loud. Did you hear that? <laughs> yeah.